Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a dot charger or dot challenger. They are built on the same platform. Multiple things will work about the same way. Any of you that need to do any programming, key, computer, modules, anything like that, you will need to know your PIN code or also known as security code. In this video today, we will show you how you can retrieve it with the help of that scanner that you can do multiple programming functions as well. For instance, we just finished making a video how to program a key in probably less than a minute it's super simple guys now another thing before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to do engines transmissions bodywork modules codes all that stuff we guys have more than 14,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so uh, check it out guys subscribe like that's all we need to keep making these free videos so how you guys do it let's explain that now we're going to use that x2 scanner right here we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from check it out guys now that scanner okay what we need to do in order to retrieve you need to have internet access make sure your scanner is connected to an internet network uh, and now here we have the OBD port connected guys under the steering wheel that's what it looks like uh, what's really cool check this thing out it has a function of a flashlight guys so you can find your OBD right that makes it super convenient guys so okay it's connected now how do you retrieve the pin code let's go ahead inside when you do programming and just make sure your doors are always closed as well guys now we're going to go ahead turn the ignition on Okay, cycle to run position without guys pressing the brake pedal. Do not press the brake pedal, let's start again. Don't press the brake pedal, hit it twice in run position. Here there are two ways to do that, okay. One is to go to special functions. Okay, and under special functions, uh, you can easily get there. Okay, let me show you now. Uh, you go to either key programming or you can go to diagnostics. Okay, click VIN, auto scan. Okay, it's working now. It's going to find the vehicle, which it says 2016 Challenger now. So, okay, it's perfect. Okay, now system selection. Here we're going to select RFH. Okay, this one. Now here we're going to select special functions. And uh, here, okay, let's see if we have it. Okay, system check. Read trouble. Nope, nothing is here. Okay, guys. So we don't have it here. So where you go? The only option now will be uh, to go to special functions, key programming, agree. Right here, you need to select Dodge in our case. Now we need to manually select our vehicle here. Select by vehicle, Challenger, 2015 to 2017. Read security code. Here, guys, you must be online to do the following. I am online. Okay loading please turn hazards on and turn ignition off ignition off hazard lights on you can see they're blinking now right now okay it's communicating guys it should give us 93 95 is our security code right there guys for any of you looking for that yours will be different don't just put numbers because you will lock yourself out okay that's how you guys do it not very complicated right less than four minutes the whole video guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you guys next time